We're here at St. Augustine Church in West 14th Street, my favorite church in the city. St. Augustine Church was first built in 1857 and has continued all these years. I, of course, have not been here since the very beginning, but I have been here for 48 years now and have started the Hunger Center here at St. Augustine's Church. We've been in business for 40 years. We serve three meals a day here at St. Augustine's, breakfast, lunch, and supper. And we do that because I wanted people to be able to have all meals in a nice, warm, beautiful place. And we serve approximately uh, 250 to 350 people each day, depending on the time of the month that it is. In the beginning of the month, it's smaller. At the end of the month, it gets much bigger. And that means like 250 at each meal. We try to serve a well-balanced meal every single day. So today, we're, we're serving uh, pasta, we're serving chicken, we're serving vegetables, we're serving bread and butter and soup, obviously, plus a salad and desserts, and then something to drink. It's important that they have a well-balanced meal every single day and take into consideration also those that are diabetic and special needs. This is the kitchen where everything is prepared. Right now they're preparing to send out meals to shut-ins who can't get to the hunger center and we do some of that also. The, this, most of the food that we get is donated or purchased if we have to. A lot of it comes from people who just know us, who've come here to serve, who've helped us, and they are just wonderful. We could not make it without them. They are the people that keep us going here at St. Augustine's Church. This is our pantry. Our pantry is where the food is stored to help us all year long. As you can see right now, there's not a whole lot on the shelf. And when you're opening these little cans, they serve three people. But you have to remember we're serving 250 at each meal. So canned food is something that we always, always need because we use it. We make soups every day and that is really an important part of them. And the vegetables, as I said, we, we really try to have a balanced meal for everybody who comes to the Hunger Center. I have known the Elk and Elk Brothers now for about 13 years. So grateful for everything that they do for us and help us because without them, I could not put on Thanksgiving or whatever we're doing. They are great brothers. I'm gonna have them here on Wednesday to meet everybody and to meet the people that they serve.